All right. Welcome to yoga, everyone. Uh, welcome to chair yoga. It is the 11th of July, and I'm really happy that everyone is here. Um, it's going to be a very gentle yoga class today. Um, so let's talk just for a moment about centering and why we center. Um, our lives are hectic. They're busy. They're crazy. Uh, and what we want to do uh, is we want to just leave that behind for a, for a bit, all right, so that we can turn our focus or our attention inward to us. Um, we want to give ourselves this little bit of attention, just 45 minutes. So, comfortable seated pose, making sure that both cheeks are firmly planted safely on the chair. Sit up straight in a good posture. Can't, my hands are grounding, grounding on my knees. We're going to look straight ahead. We're going to just take a nice, nice, good breath. All right, just inhale through the nostrils. And then let's just very slowly exhale through the mouth. And we're going to do one more of those. We're going to take a really just a nice, good breath. And gently exhale through the mouth. Just move around. Comfortable it is. Let's start the process of walking inward. Moving inward. Looking for our breath. Now the breath and the heartbeat, they kind of hang in the background because they happen all by themselves. So when we want to look at them or watch them, we have to go find them. Sometimes it's hard. A lot of times I have to put a color to that breath of mine just so I can find it and see where it is. So where does it enter the body? Where does it go? Does it come back out of the body? Where? So my breath is happening through the inhale and through the nostrils. It goes down the bronchial tubes into the lung. The big exchange of oxygen occurs and then it just comes right back out through the bronchial tubes. And sometimes it comes out through the nostrils. Nostrils, but a lot of times it comes out through the mouth. Whatever's comfortable. Whatever feels safe to you, that's what we're going to do today. Good job, everybody. So, what does that breath look like? Is it cold? Is it shallow? Maybe it's deep. Maybe you ran up the stairs to get into class here. Maybe the inhale or the exhale are uneven. There's no right or wrong answer here. We just want to find the breath and observe. Notice. Now we want to modify. So can we make that breath, this, this breath, this precious breath of ours, can we make it soft and gentle? Can we make it equal inhales, equal exhales? For me, that's going to be a three count. One, two, three on the inhale. Three, two, one on the exhale. Soft and gentle, maybe it's warm and comfortable, but an even inhale, even exhale. Now 
how much think of this is that breath that I have when I'm sitting down with a cup of hot chocolate, getting ready to crack open a I'd like to have us progress a little bit and make it a little bit bigger. So can we add it? Can we add a can we make it a five count instead of a three count? So can the inhale be one, two, three, four, five? And can the exhale be five, four, three, two, one? A little different, right? Still soft and gentle. We still have the same inhale, the same exhale in terms of length. There you, there you go. But we're moving a little bit more oxygen through our system, a little bit more blood flowing. Who knows? We may even feel a little bit more awake. There we go. We're going to use, we're going to make one more modification. I'd like to keep the five count on the inhale. I'd like to keep the five count on the exhale, but can you add a couple extra ones for me? So can that exhale be five, four, three, two, one, 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 one? And when you add those extra ones, can you tuck your belly button? Can you bring your navel up to your spine? That's it. It just adds getting a little bit more of that air out. So it's one, two, three, four, five on the end. Five, four, three, two, one, 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 one on the exhale. Nice job. Excellent. And while we're doing this, can I, can we, Pay attention. Okay. Notice what's going on. Notice if you feel a little bit more relaxed. Or maybe you can feel the blood pressure drop just a little bit. And I bet you can feel your heart rate slow. Just, just one little beat from it. It's just the breath that allows us to cope. This is the one that I use so many times during the day. Nicely done, everyone. Good job. So we're going to gently open our eyes. We go like fingers and toes just a little bit. There we go. Comfortably seated, everybody. Here we go. We're going to anchor and we're going to look up. That's on the inhale. We're going to exhale as we look up. Nice. There we go. And down. Nice and slow. Nice and easy. Muscles just don't open themselves like instantaneously. Sometimes it just takes a little. There we go. Nice. So we're going to inhale back to center. Then on the exhale, we're going to look out over the left shoulder. Back to center. Exhale out over the right shoulder. And that movement, this, this pose ought to be coming out of the neck, okay? Just kind of, the hands are anchored, so the shoulders are kind of stationary. And back. Nice and slow. Don't push too hard. We're just going easy here. 
sitting up straight all along. Inhaling back to center, exhaling out over. There we go. Back to center. Exhale. Back to center on the inhale. Exhale. Up. And back to center. Shake your hands out. There you go, everybody. Hands are going to go up on opposite shoulders. We're going to hold the shoulders down. Okay? And what we're going to do is inhale, sit up straight, and on the exhale, we're going to drop that left ear towards the left shoulder. Up. We're going to inhale back up. And exhale, we're going to drop that right ear towards the right shoulder. Back up. Exhale. There we go. Nice. Nice and easy. No pain. Inhaling back to center, and you know what we're going to do? We're just going to let the chin drop down towards the heart, and then we're just going to do this really nice, gentle neck roll. Oh. Yeah. And do it in the opposite direction. Go. Back to center. Look straight ahead, everybody. Bring your hands down. Shake them out. Bring them up to a T. Shake them. Nice. Good, 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 good. Fingertips come together and the thumb. Heart center. Rest your chin on your index finger. Notice the energy that's just moving around in your neck. Oh, doesn't it feel better? Good. All right, let's bring our hands down. Good, 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 good. All right, we're going to gently do the back stroke, okay? All right, so that means the, well, you know what, before we do that, let's do the shoulders, the shoulder roots. Right? Straight ahead, and what we want to do is we want to inhale the shoulders up, and we want to roll them back. There we go. Gentle up and roll them back. Up and roll them back. Up and roll them back. This time we're gonna roll it, we're gonna shrug the shoulders up or inhale them up and then we're gonna roll them back. There we go. Just working on this shoulder. There we go. One more time. Excellent. There. Let's go ahead and inhale up to T. And then down, Jim. Inhale up to T. Down, Jim. On the exhale. Inhale up to T. Bring that right hand over to the front of the left shoulder. And this left arm is just going to come up like we're swimming, the back stroke in the pool. And when we get up to the very top, the palm rolls out naturally. And then you just let this left arm go where it goes. No pain. Just gently let it circle. And if it happens to be out to the side like this, not a problem. Or if it goes a little higher, that's fine too. There you go. Uh, we're going to bring that left hand over in front of the right shoulder, and the right arm is going to come up 
bomb's going to roll out to the right, and then we're just going to see what happens here. Uh, where does it go? Where does that right arm go? Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Like it. One more. Everyone, what I want to do is I want to drop your forearms right here down onto your knees. I just want you to do a gentle forward bend. Not not too deep. I don't want to go deep yet. Just a nice gentle bend. And on the inhale, can you just look up straight ahead? On the exhale, let the chin drop down. Inhale, up, look straight. Exhale, let the chin drop down. Let's put the left hand on the left knee, the right hand on the right knee. Oh, there we go. We'll put our arms straight out for locomotion. So from the side, it looks like this. Sitting up straight. Good posture. Hands straight out. Now drop your elbows down about four inches. So it looks like this. And this is the inhale right now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to exhale and bring the elbows in towards the trunk. Okay? Into our torso. So we look like this from the front. That's the exhale. And then inhale straight up. Exhale. In by the trunk. Out. And this is one we should just take our time on. We shouldn't work too hard at this. It's a really nice shoulder opener. When we get back into that exhale, are you pinching your shoulder blades? That's my question. Pinch your shoulder blades. Oh. Out. Exhale. Nice. Wonderful. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Look up. Chin drops down towards the heart, and you're still pinching. Nice. All right. Left hand, left knee, right hand, right hand. Inhale up to T, everybody. Just going to do a nice circle on the left side. Just nice. I'm looking straight ahead. Notice how the right hand's not moving, the right arm's not moving. And then I'm going to stop. And I'm going to do the right arm. Still working on the shoulder, as you can tell. And now, what we're going to do is let's just take our palms and face them backwards. And let's just open up. Oh. And left knee, right hand, right knee. Bow your hip. Nice job, everybody. We're going to pass on the runner stretch today. Okay, but I do want to do the the full body twist here. I think this is really important. So if you take your right hand and put it on top of your left knee, put your left hand straight up. Just like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to watch this left hand open to the left, and we're going to turn with our shoulders. We're going to twist. So it looks like this. Nice, Kathy. Good job. So the right hand has got a hold of that left knee, and if you, if you kind of hold on to it, a little tighter, it's really supportive. And then we're going to exhale and come back. We're just doing this really slow. This is the one I was particularly talking about taking our time on. I'm going to open up to the left slowly. And then when you think you've got as far as you can, hold on to that left knee just a little bit. And back. 
I think we're just going to do one more because this is fun, right? Open. And bring that left hand back on the exhale. I'm going to drop that left hand onto the right knee. The right hand's going to come straight. We're going to open to the right. We're going to twist with our shoulders. Exhale back. Open, twist. Exhale back to center line. Open, twist. Exhale back to center line and drop that right hand on top of the left knee. Look up. Exhale, look down. Let's go ahead and forward fold just a little bit, dropping those forearms right onto the knees. Just let the back open. You know, I'm doing this for me, honestly. This is, yeah, just, we're just going to spend another 30 seconds here on this back opening. And, and you know, our torso is dropping down just a little bit. And that, that way we're feeling the opening in the lower back. Left hand, left knee, right hand, right knee. That's really important to do that. Goalpost. So the triceps and the biceps, which are in the upper part of the arm, biceps up here, triceps down here, they're going to stay kind of where they're at. What's going to move is the forearm, okay, and it's going to just actually, the hand, the wrist, and the forearm are going to just drop down like this. And we're going to inhale them up. We're going to try to do them both at the same time. Yeah, look at that. You know, it, um, when you're driving the coast down here, you will often see a bird on a post doing this. Uh, usually it's the comorants, and they're, they're drying out their feathers. One more time up. Reach up for a sun salute, everybody. And then there's an incredible amount of healing energy that's just rolling around in the universe. And I want you to grab a big ball of it. Bring it right down into your gut, right down into your navel area, and just hold it in there. Mm. Nice. Left hand, left knee, right knee, and right knee. Back up to Sun Salute. Let's grab another ball of healing energy and bring it right down to your heart. We could all use a little heart, a little heart help today. Right? Nice. Left hand, left knee, right hand, right knee. Let me see how we're doing time wise, everybody. Okay. So, I want to move into our knee lifts. Because I actually don't think last week we got them. And I realized we were short on time last week, but I realized how important it was. So here we are sitting in a great position, sitting up straight. Everything seems to be working really, really good in here. And what we're going to do, and this is all on the exhale, we're going to lift the knee. We're going to grab the left knee, and we're going to lift it higher. Right? That's all on the exhale. And then on the inhale, we're going to put it down. Yeah. So it's lift, grab, lift. And then inhale down. Lift, grab, and lift. Inhale down. Going to the other knee. 
lift, grab, and lift. Inhale, lift. Lift, grab, lift. Inhale, lift. Lift, grab, and lift. Great job, everyone. I want to change it up a little bit. Just we're going to just move that. I, I don't know where you felt it. I, I was feeling it across my lower back, just to let you know. Um, but we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to add something to it. Okay. So on the exhale, lift, grab, lift. And when you get it up there, as far as you can, roll into it. Bring your knee in. Bring your, 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 your face, your nose, your chin in towards your knee. And then inhale down. Lift, grab, lift. When you get it up as size as you can, then roll in. And down. One more time. Lift, grab, lift. Get it as high as you can, then roll into it. And down. Lift, grab, lift. Roll in, and then down we go. Lift, grab, lift. Roll in. Inhale, down. We're going to do one more, right? Lift, grab, and lift. Roll in. And there's the inhale, down. All right, everyone, I want you to forward fold. Forearms on your knees, forearms on your thighs. I just want you to be relaxed. I want you to take it easy here. There we go. Good. Nice and easy. Just relax. Left hand, left knee, right hand, right knee. Up you come. Okay, so let's try and see how our seated eagle, our seated osprey went today. Right hand up, it's just a tricep, right? Left arm comes under, so it looks like this. I've got a hold of my wrist today, that's what I got a hold of. Sometimes I'm on my thumb and my index finger, but not today. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep the elbows together, and we're going to actually just inhale, lift up. And on the exhale, we're going to keep the elbows together, and then we're going to just let the elbows come down towards our lap. Inhale up. And down. Inhale up. Show me your eagle or your osprey. And down we go. Left arm up, everybody. Right arm underneath. Elbow to elbow. Oh. I got half of my forearm here. There we go. Keeping the elbows together, go ahead and lift up. Exhale, elbows come down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, as you can reach, show me your osprey, your eagle, nice, and down we come. Woo. Wonderful, great job everybody. Let's go back to that forward fold a little bit, here we go. So this time, can you walk your knees apart a little bit? Walk your knees apart on that forward fold. Maybe your arms will drift <clears throat> down between your legs. There we go. Nice opening. Good job, everybody. Just let it happen. Be easy to yourself. Left hand, left knee, right hand, right knee. Okay, we're going to come up out of the chair, everyone, because we want to get cat cow in there. All right. Good. 
<clears throat> Let me move my chair this way. So the working end of the chair, right below it, that's where we be. But, so we're going to form our staple. Remember? So we're going to approach the chair. We're probably 12, 14 inches back. I'm going to bend over. I'm going to grab the sides of the chair. So then the straight line comes from my ankle through my knees to my hips. And then I go across the back. And then from the shoulder to the elbow to the wrist. There we go. So that's my staple. And what we want to do is look up at the wall in front of us on the inhale. And then on the exhale, we want to arch our back like a Halloween cat. Inhale up. The cow. Exhale, arch your back, Halloween cat. Inhale, up the cow. Arch your back, Halloween cat. All right, everyone, what I'd like to do is I'd like to look at the wall in front of me, and then I'd like you, when you do that, to put your left foot back. The toe can touch on the mat if you want to, or it can just dangle back there. But then immediately bring that left knee in towards the heart and look down at the left knee. <clears throat> Inhale back out, look up. Exhale, left knee comes in, look down at the left knee. Inhale back out, look up. One more time, exhale, bring that left knee in, look down, and then return your foot back to state. We're going to go to the other side, everybody. Look straight ahead, put that right leg back. Exhale, bring that right knee in towards the heart, look down at the right knee. Back out, look up. Exhale, right knee in, look down. Exhale, back out, look up. And bring the legs back to stable. Okay. Come up on your tippy toes. And then exhale, and the heels touch the ground. Up on your tippy toes. Exhale, the heels touch the ground. Up on your tippy toes. Exhale. There we go. One more time. Up on your tippy toes. This time, step your left foot out. And then back. Left foot out. <clears throat> and back. Left foot out. Back. Right foot out. You're still on your tippy toes. Right foot out. And back. Out. <clears throat> back. Out. Back. Wonderful job, everybody. Bend your knees, left hand, left knee, right hand, right knee. Up we come. Shake it out. Uh, give me a helicopter here. Wonderful. Nice, 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 nice. Let's go to the tall end of the chair. <clears throat> there we go. Left hand on the chair. I'm looking straight ahead. Remember that the energy from your waist down is grounding you into the earth. The energy from your waist up is lifting you up. If it's elevating you, it's making you taller. You're going to have to go get your driver's license changed because you're an inch taller. There we go. Looking straight ahead. And now what happens? Lift that right heel to the outside. And then you just, it's a discovery class at this point. It's like, okay, I lifted the right heel. Is my balance good or bad? Can I move that right foot around a little bit? Maybe on the calf, maybe on top of the left foot, behind the left foot. Maybe the hands come up. So now I look like a tree. But I'm looking straight ahead and I'm breathing. I'm practicing my balance. Make the hands come together. There you go. Awesome. 
and out we come gently. Let's go to the other side of, the, of our body. Ready? Remember, don't push too hard now. Ground, rise up, get ready, outside foot, left heel. Now what are we going to do? Where will that foot go and I'll be safe? That's the question. And if you're, if you're safe and comfortable right here with both feet flat on the ground, with the right hand on the chair, that's a good balance to make. Look straight ahead and breathe. Wherever your balance takes you today is what we work on. Now, uh, great job, everyone. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. <clears throat> All right, we're at the end of our class. We're going to get a nice Shavasana in. I know it's not as long or detailed as it has been, but that's the kind of warm up day we're having. <laughs> so, Here's what we're going to do. We're going to add a little music. We're going to find that place. We're going to find that place that is comfortable and warm and safe. going to rest. We're going to be kind to ourselves. We're going to be gentle. Don't let that curse you.
All right, my friends, it is time to begin to gently wiggle your fingers and toes and welcome yourselves back to the mat. Take the time that you need. No rush, no hurries today. It is a privilege and an honor and a gift to me to allow me to spend some time with you on your busy Thursday. Namaste, everyone. Namaste.